is a gift. Okay, it's been a while. I've been away. And by away, I mean, you know, in my mind, traveling, just trying to find more answers, you know, that I can help more people, you know, in whatever areas they may be stuck. I've received a few emails, so I'll address each as we go along today with the video. So the first one I wanted to talk about today is about us, and I'm so guilty of this one, about us not letting others in, okay? Now, growing up, okay, in my childhood, my experience was, you know, when my sister was born, my mum did everything for my sister. I wasn't allowed to do anything. And so it was almost like there was a trust issue, you know, that if she let me handle the baby or if in any way I was involved with the baby, that I may drop the baby or hurt the baby or... Because I was young, I was only five. So in her mind, I was too little to handle a, a newborn baby, you know. Um, so there was a trust issue. You know, she didn't trust that if she allowed others to help, that we would be capable of that help you know, without harming this baby. Not intentionally, but because I was so little in her eyes, you know, to help. So I already grew up with mum doing everything and not trusting others. And growing up as well, there was always, and I know this for so many people, I see it all the time, you know, we don't share our problems or we don't share our worries or our concerns because we feel it's a sign of weakness if we can't handle it on our own. So I'll let you just sit with that thought in case you are one of these people that can never share when you have a problem, when you're upset about something, you just close up and you shut people off because you feel or you've grown up with that being a sign of weakness. You know, it's a sign of strength for you to be able to do it on your own, for you to be able to sort it out on your own, work it out by yourself without anyone else's help. That is what a strong person looks like. You know, this is what we've all grown up with, this not being able to show any feelings or any, you know, emotions. We're not allowed to show that we aren't on top of it, you know, that we aren't okay, so to speak. And this not being able to show when we're not okay, you know, is what is causing so many problems for people that are in depression or that are committing suicide. Because we feel that it's not okay to share it. We feel that it's bad, that it's wrong to have these feelings, to have these thoughts. From so little, we're taught that this is, we are weak if we have these thoughts and we have these feelings. You know, certain feelings we're taught are bad feelings. You know, sadness is bad. Anger is bad. They're negative feelings. That's what we grow up with or what I've grown up with. So I'm just sharing my experience. But we're never taught that these feelings are there for a reason. They're there, they're trying to tell us something. And so, as long as we keep ignoring them and not sharing them and not letting others in, we bottle it all up. We just bottle it. And it just grows and grows and gets bigger and bigger because we're not addressing it, we're not looking at it, and we're not resolving it. We're not letting it tell us what we need to look at. But with this video, the main thing I wanted to talk about was we don't let others in. You know, for such a long time when I'd be upset about something, I just wouldn't talk to my partner about it. I'd just shut him off and not want to share it. You know, this is my problem. It's not your problem. It's my problem. I'm the one with the problem. I have to work it out. I have to deal with it. It's in my head. It's not your problem to deal with. You know, but just recently I had, because I've, I'm kind of going through this phase where I'll have a meltdown, you know, trying to work out in my head all these thoughts and all these 
emotions and I'm dealing with them now. I'm not shutting them off and I'm not ignoring them. And so there's days where I just, I'm overwhelmed with it all, you know? And I just feel like it's all too much, you know, to just do this process, you know? And I know it's it's moving forward and that's what why it feels so difficult. But this one weekend, I just felt like I was on a real low, you know, really, really bottomless pit I'm looking at this bottomless pit in my mind and I'm thinking it's never going to end you know if I keep looking at all these thoughts and I keep looking at all these feelings where does it stop where does it end it's a bottomless pit it just feels like I just keep digging it up and digging it up and it's never going to end you know and I was just feeling so down that day more than overwhelmed I was just really down that there in my mind there's no end to it going to get better because there's always something else that I need to resolve that comes up for me that I need to look at and anyway this day I'm sitting you know in my backyard and I'm just sitting there and I'm just shutting off the whole world as I always do you know and then my husband came and he just sat with me and he just asked me you know what's wrong you know what's, what's going on and up until that day for at least two to three weeks I just felt like we were growing more and more apart because of what was going on in my mind inside of me I'd just been shutting everyone out and trying to work this out on my own and that day he came and he sat with me and he said very little but the little that he said was just enough just enough to help me get through it you know because he views the world very different to how I do because our experiences have been so different in our childhood. So today I put it to you, if you're one of these people that is constantly shutting others out, not letting others in, you know, think for yourself. If you're with the partner and you're watching them suffer or you're watching them struggle with something and they don't want to share it with you, how does that make you feel? It makes you feel shut out from their world and I realized that day when I shared all the things I was feeling because I said to him you're not gonna understand it because there's so many things I believe in that you don't you know and talking about them to you is like you know talking to someone that just won't understand and it didn't matter whether he understood it or not he still seemed to say on the day the right thing for me to work through it because we've been together for so long and he knows me so so well you know he's my best friend in the world so in opening up in telling him whether he was going to understand it or not I realized at the end of it we had a deeper connection because I let him in and I didn't worry about it being a sign of weakness or a sign of strength or any of those things that are you know the old habits that need to go, they need to go. If you have a partner and they have value in your life and you know each other, share, let them in. Because at the end of it, for the person that you've allowed in to your vulnerability, because that's what it is, we feel vulnerable, that we're going through these feelings and these thoughts and they're not things that make us feel strong, but they make us feel weak to think so when we let them in it makes them feel good that they've helped us it makes us feel more connected that we've shared something of ourselves otherwise they could be sitting there thinking they've done something they've done something wrong you've shut them out they don't know what's going on if you don't let them know Today, this is the last few weeks is what I've been thinking. There's so many ways that we can connect with others and we can let others into our world. You know, and if it feels good for you when you help someone that's down, it feels good for others to do the same. So always let others in. You know, sometimes they may say something that's like, I didn't really need to hear that. You know, it's not helpful in any way. It's just that person. If you're accepting each person as they are, then you know that that's what they're going to offer you. You know, but 
if you're with someone who's a very close friend or if it's a relationship and you're very close to each other spiritually, they know you. They will understand. They're not going to judge you. They're just going to try and help. They'll help you see it from a different perspective. That maybe you just, you're not looking at it because you're closed in to this position. You're not looking at it from any other angle. Sometimes that's all we need, someone else to come in and look at it from somewhere else and give us that perspective. All right, my darlings? So today is about letting others in. I love you guys. And on that level, connecting more. On a deeper level, you connect more when you let others in. Because it's not just about letting them in on the good times. It's not just about letting people in when you're happy and you're full of energy and everything's going well. Life isn't always like that. You're not always happy and you're not always on a high. We're not. Nobody is. It's impossible. So, yeah. Life is about sharing all of it. Don't judge it. Don't judge what they're going to think or not think. If it's someone close to you and they know you, they will understand. And they will know you even better because of what you're sharing. All right, my darling. I've missed you guys. All right, remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.